Ooh. Late night. Hurricane K or Thunderstorm K, Tropical Storm K. Huh? Well guys, the reason uh, for this late night mission, as you guys can see right there, midnight. Uh, my tuner RD, RD Engineering, he's right here local to me in Oxnard. He's, you know, 10 miles away or so or whatever. So um, he hits me up a few hours ago like, hey, what time do you go to bed? And I was just like, um, I'll, I won't go to bed if you're talking about, you know, me picking up the GTR tonight. So he's like, if I get to tuning it and get to working on it, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll hit you up. And I was just like, okay, sounds good. So obviously I'm anxiously awaiting. Freaking wifey crashed out. The boys started going to sleep. And then all of a sudden, ding, get a text. And I'm like, man, here we go. The adventures of uh, Ant and Anil. Freaking stoked, man. Uh, did full bolt-ons, um, E85, flex fuel, stuff like that. So I was pretty stoked, obviously, with the stock power and how the GTR performs, performs and everything. Um, it's obviously a beast-ass car. But I just can't get used to, like... I thought that was a GTR right there. I just can't get used to beating, getting beat by like, you know, regular bolt-on cars, you know, speaking of my homies B58, even though they're beast ass motors and stuff like that, it's just like, that's like unacceptable. You know, those guys get off on, oh, I just whooped up GTR. I just put bus links on a GTR. And even though it's different, you know, a lot of people, it doesn't matter. And of course there's somebody always gonna be out there that's faster than you. And that's just the nature of the beast. But, you know, I just couldn't have like regular cars beat me so hell yeah some customer service right here nice little c8 see what this one says up late working hard i like it um you know no promises or whatever but yeah. you know, i'll see what i can do and i was like oh man but like now i'm in bed i was just like please <laughs> and my phone's right here on the nightstand and then it freaking bling, and who else was going to be texting yeah, me? Yeah, right. Figured, oh, he's not going to hit me up. I kind of did. Like, we were already in bed with something. Like, yeah. My wife was already crashed out and yeah. then I was like right now, like, hey, like, he texted me the car and she's like, oh my god, I think I'm asleep already. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, come on, let's go. <laughs> A few moments later. Woo, in there like swimwear, baby. We back. What time is it? 1.30 in the morning. Ronnie's pretty cool, man. Just bullshitting, talking about his Lambo, future plans, yada, 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 explaining the apps to me and how to go about racing this thing, ethanol content, all this stuff. So I'm pretty excited to get home, play with it, and then tomorrow go do some pulls with uh, with my homies B58 and, and basically, you know, take them to Gapplebee's. Should be a good one. so freaking stoked man this is why i had to get it done before i go back to az man like you know i don't want to be in az and like a honda civic pulls up to me with you know some freaking built little motor and a turbo and he just gives me the business you know like at least at this point i can be somewhat respectable the next day You see, Audi's, all the Lambos, GTR game. So got the car back uh, last night as I was telling you guys and stuff and I'm chilling in at the pad. My bro decides to randomly show up, make a special appearance over here in LA. So. We're watching the UFC fights right now, and then I just decided, like, hey, do you guys want to do, should we head out or what, and go see what's up, and kind of, like, got pretty lazy, like, uh, I don't know, let's just go get some tacos and chill, and that's what, like, our wifey said, so they were kind of being a little bit of Debbie Downers, but I was like, bro, this is going to be, like, one of my last weekends here in LA, like, let's just go, my, I've never brought my brother to, like, these kind of events, so, you know, for him to come and check everything out, I mean, it's, it's legit, damn, top secret everything. Yeah, but that brand Top Secret is like super expensive. It's from Japan. Crazy expensive. Some nice little whips here. It's kind of 
crappy lighting, but right now when we all leave, it should be pretty legit. It should be nice too. do some pulls. Hopefully, I'm always anxious to do pulls, especially now that I'm at full bolt-ons. Like, I'm freaking, I'm anxious, man. Like, get with some of these whips. Oh, yeah. Dang, you can't even see it. <laughs> Everybody gets some Montana plates too. Like, why not like AZ? I wonder if Montana is like just the chillest place to get stuff from. How's that way doing tonight? Um, tag us in your videos. So we just posted the location right now. If you guys go on your Instagram stories.
that yelling at you got a hurricane. Damn, look at the dash. It's pretty clean. The dash. Hey, there was a, uh, like the 5 Series, the white 5 Series that was surprisingly fast. Sure, wasn't the 3 Series? I don't know. But Shut up. <laughs> nah, he, he has a 3 Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this fool, I ran him before I got everything done. And he, and well, he actually pulls on me very slightly at top end. Yeah. And uh, so then I got this stuff done. So I don't know if it was him or not, but his, his shit is pretty quick. That B58 stuff, you know, the Supras and stuff. So those motors are the real deal, man. My ears are still kind of ringing from the <laughs> fucking ZR1, dude. <laughs> like, I feel kind of... Hey, you gotta put your windows up, dude. No, but it's because it sounds so sexy, dude. I was like, ah! Damn. So I think this is the final destination for the night. Freaking what a success, man. Like, god damn, getting all these pulls on the freeway. That pull with that ZR1 was nasty. That ZR1, where's it at? I don't know. Somewhere around here, but damn, that shit was crazy. I'm still kind of like, my ears are still ringing from that thing because it was just like screaming. We had the windows down. I didn't even think to roll them up because I was just like so excited. I still, I just barely like stopped shaking too. Like it's kind of, it's wild, man. This is why I'm going to miss LA so much, dude. Like, look at this, man. It's one in the morning. GTRs, McLarens, Lambos, like beast as whips left and right. The LA car scene is insane, man. Yeah. Homie, I gotta get a picture with like your Mexican twin. Okay, where's he Mikey, at? Come over here. Mikey. Is that not your fucking twin. Mexican okay, twin? I need a fuck. It's definitely my Mexican twin. Papi <laughs> Muñeño. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Let me get a picture, homie. Oh, what were we doing? Oh, a picture? With your fucking brother and shit, homie. <laughs> Cheese. Hell yeah. <laughs> About 45 cops follow me on the way there. You, you don't have sex a lot, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, no. crazy thing, I'm waiting for marriage. He's a, oh, he's a virgin. Really? 27, yeah. You're a virgin? The hardest thing in my life. I am so sorry. <laughs> What a good way to wrap up my last weekend here in Cali, man. That's the homie Dan Rue right there. Oh, I can't even zoom in anymore. We're gonna go take some rollers on that uh, new bridge in Long Beach here. Got my roll dog, Dan Rue's twin. Got some, got some snaps with him. So, pretty tight, man. This is why Cali is what it is, or LA, I should say, I guess. Because, I mean, San Diego, I'm sure other areas uh, the bay and stuff like that is clean, but man, LA is just where it's at. Like, you know, 1.30 in the morning, we're gonna go eat, go take some pictures, some rollers, some drone footage, and then just cruise back home in this awesome ass weather. That's what's up, man.